Hey YouTube, it's Ms. Technical and today I'm showing you how to manage multiple email addresses all from one inbox. Yes, even your business email from Outlook or Google Workspace or even that old Yahoo you may have forgot about. Before we start, I'm trying something new. I'll be adding a tech difficulty level to each tutorial. That means if you're not tech savvy, you'll know right away if this is going to be a breeze or if it might take a little extra patience. So for this one, I say the difficulty is a two out of 10. It's mostly just clicking around and following a few steps, no code, no downloads. So if you're tired of logging into five different inboxes every day, let's get into it. So the first step, let's start by logging into your Gmail account. Click on the little gear icon in the top right, then hit see all settings. Once you're in, click on accounts, then scroll down a bit and click on add a mail account. Now, type in your full email address you'll like to add. For this example, I'm using another standard Gmail account, but this also works if you're using a Google Workspace email, Outlook, Yahoo, or even something like GoDaddy. And real quick, if you're trying to merge multiple email addresses with your Google Workspace, like managing info at and hello at from another inbox, you might want to pause this video and check out my Google Workspace alias video instead. I'll link that video in the description. So on the next screen, you'll be asked to fill in a few things. Under username, just type in your full email address again. For the pop server, type in pop.gmail.com and the port should be 995. Now this is only for Gmail. If you need to use for Outlook or Yahoo, they have their own. So I'm gonna list a few of these in the description underneath this video as well. After that, you'll see a few options and I'm gonna break down the options below that you're able to check off. So for leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server, if you check this, Gmail will copy the message but still leave it in your original inbox. If you uncheck it, Gmail will pull it into your new inbox and delete it from the original. I usually recommend leaving this checked, especially if you want a backup. For always use a secure connection SSO when retrieving mail, definitely leave this checked. It means Gmail is pulling in your emails through a safe, encrypted connection. Now for labeling incoming messages, this helps you easily see which email came from which account. Super helpful if you're managing multiple inboxes. And for archive incoming messages, skip the inbox. I'll leave this unchecked unless you want those emails to bypass your inbox and go straight into a label or folder. Now, if you hit the next button and you see an error that says server deny pop three access for a given username and password, here is what that means and how to fix it. You'll need to log into the email account you're trying to add. Click on the gear icon, then see all settings, then click on forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. Then scroll down to the pop section and select either enable pop for all mail or enable pop for mail that arrives from now on. Once you select one, click save changes at the bottom. Now, head back to your main Gmail inbox and try adding the email again. If you get the same error, this time it might be because you have two set verification turned on. So in this case, click on this link here. I also dropped this link in the video description and you're gonna to check to see if your two-step verification is on. And if it is on, your regular password will not work when adding that email. Instead, you'll need to generate something called a app password. To do that, you're gonna to go to this link, and I also have this link in the description, and Google is gonna generate a 16-digit password. So in this case, you're able to name it anything that you like. So for this one, I just named it Merge Email. And then once they generate that password, copy and paste that into the password field when adding the account, and you should be good to go. So now once all this is connected, test it out, and your email is now being managed all from one inbox. Now, if you're adding a Google Workspace email, sometimes they'll make you verify that you own that account. So just log into that email, and when you get the verification email from Gmail, click 
on the link to confirm. It's very easy. All right, guys, I hope this saved you from bouncing around in inboxes all day. And if this video has helped you, go ahead and leave me a residue of your energy by clicking on that like button and subscribing. By you subscribing, commenting, and liking, that helps my video grow and for more people to look at my videos as well. Now, if you have any other tech questions that you are confused on, reach out to me, comment below. I would love to make more videos on things that you're just like, what? What is this about? All right, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.